Okay, so I need a new reverb like I need a hole in the head, but being a Plugin Alliance subscriber, I decided I would check out the new Better Maker BM60 reverb plugin. And man, did it sound good. I was able to dial it in on some drums that made the record a whole lot better. So in today's video, I'll show you how the plugin works and we'll listen to some examples. Before we do get started, please make sure to hit subscribe if you are interested in my weekly music production videos. Let's go. All right, so here's the plugin. It is the BM60. It is a recreation of an old reverb from the company Lexicon called the PCM60. It was made in the 80s and was widely used. And if I was to guess, I never used one myself, but it was widely used probably on drums because that's where this thing shines to me. But before we get into the examples, let's just go over the GUI really quick so we know what it's doing. So starting on your left, you have an input then your dry and wet knob, and then the output. So if you need to drive the reverb more, you can turn the input up. If it's getting too loud, you can turn the output down. Really easy bypass. Then there's two algorithms, basically. There is the plate and the room. And you can affect the size by only four buttons, small, medium, medium more, or large, I don't know. Short, all the way to long, as far as the reverb time. Then you have this bass button, which generates longer reverberation times and low frequencies and the treble button, which generates shorter reverberation times in the high frequencies. So those are basically the controls. So it's a really easy reverb to use. Down below, you have your pre-delay, which is normal on any reverb. Width, you can make the reverb wider. And then mono fire, which is like a lot of the Plugin Alliance plugins, you can mono out the low end, but this you can go all the way up to 20 hertz. So if you wanna mono the whole reverb, you could do it that way. And lastly, which is welcome on any reverb unit, is a ducker. So this is the amount, how much ducking is being applied, and this is the recovery of when it's going to recover from the ducking. All right, and so that is the plugin, very simple. Let's take a listen. I'm gonna play this on a clap, which is what I put it on the mix I first started using it with, and it really just brought it to life. Um, we'll bypass it, and then I'll turn it on so you guys can hear the clap before and after. So as you can hear, it was pretty easy to dial in a good sound from the reverb. One thing that's a little odd to me sometimes is when we are on plate, I tend to hear it a bit more in the left channel. I don't know if that's the way the reverb was intended or what, but that's interesting. But I really like how this sounds with the room. It just adds a little bit more life to the snare that wasn't there before. And then when you play it with everything else, you'll notice that it just comes to life. Let's try that. So really just brought that snare to life and just put that whole drum sound into a good room. Let's check it out on a vocal. Okay, so we'll play it on this vocal now. We have uh, the plate once again. Uh, this time it's a bit larger size and a bit longer reverb time. Uh, we don't have any of the bass or treble buttons down, so it'll just be like that. We'll play with some of these buttons to hear the difference once we get going. Halfway ain't enough. I don't want to halfway empty nothing. I'm going to go the whole way or go no way. I got no control of my dysfunction. Losing my control inside the function. I've been empty for some years. So I overdo the mission for some bliss. Halfway ain't enough. I don't want to halfway empty nothing. I'm going to go the whole way or go no way. I got no control of my dysfunction. Losing my control inside the function. I've been empty for some years. So I overdo the mission for some bliss. Halfway ain't enough. 
I don't want to have for empty nothing. I'm going to go the whole way or go no way. I got no control of my dysfunction. Losing my control inside the function. I've been empty for some years. So I overdo the mission for some bliss. So as you can hear at the end, I really cranked up the ducker so you could hear what it could do. Obviously you wouldn't use it like that, but it sounds pretty good on vocals too. I still feel that this plugin shines on percussion-y type instruments that if you want just a really nice sounding room, uh, it can give you that. Also, I noticed with the vocals, when we had the plate on, I didn't hear that discrepancy between the left and right like we did with the clap. I would assume it's just an input thing that we need to drive it a little bit harder in order for it to balance out the left and right. Okay, so that's a quick review of the BetterMaker BM60. If you have the Plugin Alliance subscription, I think it's well worth the download. It's great, like I said, for drums and percussion. Uh, you can use it for vocals and all kinds of other things as well but that's just my opinion of where I think it shines. Let me know what you think about the plugin in the comments below. If you need your songs mixed or mastered, hit me up at mixandmastermysong.com. You can also find my course and my presets there as well. Talk to you soon.